So I made a lot of videos about debit cards here on this channel, but in today's video, we're adventuring into a new category and reviewing the American Express Gold Card. So first things first, let's talk about the aesthetics of the card. The American Express Gold Card, as the name suggests, comes with a metal card, which looks very luxurious and has this gold look to it, and also feels very premium too. And with the metal body that's it, that it has, it is sure to turn some heads while you pull this out while you're paying for someone's dinner. But let's be honest here, we're not here for the look itself, even though I love looking at debit card and credit card designs, we are here for the actual benefits of the cards. So with that being said, let's just jump to the actual benefits. So many people see the American Express Gold card as a powerhouse when it comes to rewards. And it really deserves this saying, as especially for those who spend a lot on dining and groceries, you can get up to 4x your membership reward points when you are spending on restaurants worldwide, and even the same 4x points at US supermarkets up to 25,000 a year, and then you'll get 1x on all your spending after that 25K spending limit. Now, with that being said, I'm based in Sweden, so the rewards that you get in Sweden compared to the US are a lot worse, and you're also paying a lot less for the card. But what I'll do throughout the video, just to give you American viewers and Swedish viewers some kind of insights on the differences between the two cards, even though they're the same card, just the different rewards, I'll put it on the screen so you can kind of compare and have a look at, okay, I'm actually getting a good deal here because the US usually has a lot better benefits in comparison to the Swedish version. Now the benefits obviously doesn't end there as well. If you are a frequent traveler, you'll also get 3x points on all your flights booked directly with airlines with Amex or on the Amex travel website. And all the other purchases you are making with the card, you'll also get 1x points for every dollar you're spending. So if you spend one dollar, you'll get one point on all other spending outside of these main categories for the card. Now as the Amex card is really focusing on dining here, you'll also have some extra benefits, which is 120 dining credit each year. And that's gonna be about $10 per month, which you can get as a credit when you make purchases at selected restaurants, which you'll have available directly within the Amex app or at certain food delivery services, such as Grubhub or Uber Eats. Now, of course, these benefits also come at a cost. So let's talk about the yearly fee for the card itself. The card is gonna run you about $250 in the US per year. It's about $150 in Sweden. So there's a big difference there in terms of the cost, but the benefits obviously a lot better in the US as well. Now, this is definitely not the cheapest card on the market. There's a lot of free cards, which usually have pretty good benefits. So if the gold Amex really fits your lifestyle and the way that you are spending your money, then this is definitely going to outweigh the yearly fee as you can actually offset the cost of the card by just spending in the right categories. Let's not also forget about the welcome bonus that you get with your Golden Amex. When you sign up as a new member for the Golden Amex card, you have the chance to earn an extra 60,000 membership reward points after you spend $4,000 within your first six months. Now, this is obviously gonna be a significant boost to your overall uh, points that you collect for your Amex card. And those 60,000 points are valued at around $600. So even that is gonna offset that your yearly fee for the card for about two and a half years. And those points can also be spent directly on anything within the Amex rewards. Now, all the points that you spend will go to the Amex membership rewards program. And this is definitely one of the most flexible reward programs in the market. Here you can basically use your points for anything from traveling, shopping, gift cards, and you can even make donations directly with the points that you earn. On top of this, the card also doesn't charge you any foreign transaction fees. So if you're traveling a lot, this is usually a big hurdle if you're using a normal debit card. They usually charge a very high foreign transaction fees. Uh, so this is gonna be a great option for you if you tend to travel a lot. But what you have to keep in mind here is that Amex is obviously one of the more limited cards on the market if you compare it to the Visa or the MasterCard as Amex is not as widely accepted, especially around Europe and even in Sweden, there's a lot of grocery stores, for example, or local retailers they don't accept Amex just because of their, their fees that they're charging to the retailer itself. So you might be a bit limited there, but it should at least be accepted in the most places that you go. But I do recommend you to bring another card if you're traveling somewhere as you don't wanna be stuck somewhere and not being able to pay. Now from a security standpoint, the American Express is a market leader. 
The Gold Card offers a car rental loss and damage insurance, baggage insurance, and even a global assist hotline for emergencies, which you can call any time of the day. This basically means that you'll be covered when you are on the move and when you are traveling out and about. So who is this card for? Well, simply put, if you are a person that tends to spend a lot of money on either groceries or restaurants, or if you travel a lot, and you don't mind spending a little bit of extra money for that annual fee while getting a lot of those rewards, the American Express Gold Card can definitely offer a lot of value. Now, the high reward rates on dining, supermarkets, and flights, along with the dining and airline fee credit, can definitely make this card a worthy choice. Now, with that being said, it's gonna be up to whether or not you'll be spending enough points to offset the yearly fee. That's what it comes down to. So if you spend a lot in these categories, which I've mentioned, then this card is gonna be worth it for you. Now, this also can't go without saying, but there's obviously a lot of other credit cards out there in the market, especially in the US. So there might actually be a better fit for you depending on what type of spending habits you have. So if you tend to spend in other categories, there might actually be a credit card that fits your spending habits a lot better compared to the golden Amex card. Now the Chase Sapphire preferred card, for example, has a more balanced reward structure and also a lower annual fee. So you can let me know in the comments if you want me to take a look at the Sapphire card as well and I'll make a follow-up video comparing the two cards and maybe even a full review just on the Sapphire card itself. Now for a quick recap of all the rewards that you'll get, the American Express Gold card has an annual fee of $250, offers high reward rates on dining, supermarkets and flights, and also comes with dining and airline fee credits. It also has this generous welcome bonus, which you will be getting 60,000 extra points if you spend 4,000 in your first six months. It's definitely a strong card for foodies and travelers, but do make sure that the annual fee is actually justified by the benefits that you'll be using for this card. So if you're not gonna use the benefits, it's not gonna be worth it for you. So don't sign up for a card which you don't necessarily use. But that is gonna be it for today's video. If you wanna sign up for the Amex card, I'll leave a link down in the video description where you can read more and sign up directly through Amex website. But that is gonna be it. Thanks again for watching. If you want more videos like this one, please make sure to subscribe down below and also leave a comment if you have any questions or let me know your favorite benefits with the Amex card and how you have been using the card yourself. But that's it. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video here on the channel.